Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and today we got a Thor Love and Thunder teaser trailer announcing that pre-sale for tickets is now available. And as exciting as that is, and if you didn't know, I'm glad you now do, go buy your tickets, there is something more important that we need to discuss at the moment. It appears in this teaser trailer that, and many people believe, Gore the God Butcher is getting a redesign. So... Will Gore the God Butcher look different for Thor Love and Thunder? Is this a Sonic the Hedgehog scenario? Or does Marvel and Taika Waititi, director of Thor Love and Thunder, have a different plan for Gore the God Butcher than maybe we have appreciated? We're going to be talking about all these questions and more in today's video, but if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other major movie and television news updates that we're posting daily here on the channel. You can also check me out on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. I will be going to the Thor Love and Thunder world premiere, the red carpet event, so I will be also posting pictures of this on Twitter and Instagram as well as videos and other fun interactions, so if you want to check those out, the links are in the description down below. So, Gore the God Butcher. If you are a relatively casual Marvel fan who's getting excited for the release of Thor Love and Thunder, there's a possibility you don't know who Gore the God Butcher is, other than Christian Bale with an extremely pale face and some pretty gross teeth. And you would be right on that account, but for comic book fans, there's a little bit of rustled feathers going on as he doesn't have the comic book accurate look. Now he usually has some tendrils hanging off, he wears this black cloak, which we've seen on and off throughout the trailer, and overall he has a less humanoid face, which has caused a little bit of discrepancy and, and unhappiness, some gruntled fans out there who of course like to complain about the finer details, and that's okay. However, the big question is, and feel free to answer this, are you okay with how Gore the God Butcher looks? A, as somebody who doesn't know who the character is, and B, as a comic book fan, who does know what Gore the God Butcher quote-unquote should look like. Now obviously Marvel does get inspiration from the comics and they don't always go shot for shot with how everything is going to be pushed into the live action movies. But phase four has been the phase of comic book accurate hero outfits, even if they've just been for a moment. Like the Wanda Vision Halloween episode where Wanda and Vision were literally dressed up in their comic book accurate suits. You can see this with Falcon, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Spider-Man, Thor, and many other characters throughout the creation of Phase 4, they've all at some point sported a very comic book accurate suit. So what's the deal with Christian Bale's gore? Well, there are a lot of theories out there, and the biggest one and the highest complaint is that Christian Bale didn't want to not look like Christian Bale. A lot of people seem to believe that he said he's only going to play Christian Bale if he's able to have his own face. He doesn't want to be covered up, he's an A-list actor, and this is something that he will not allow to have happen. And a lot of people believe that that may be the case. Now, I'm not going to lie to you personally, I don't know the deep details of that, if that was something that happened. There are rumors that that was the case, but I don't have any actual confirmation as to whether or not it was. There's also the possibility that Marvel just made a different character. They made him look different, and that's what they're sticking with, and they're moving forward with it. Now, I don't mean to say that Marvel has changed the character. It's still Gore the God Butcher. However, they're going to go with a different design for this character, and they've done it. They've changed several names of characters, powers of characters, looks of characters throughout the entirety of the MCU. So it wouldn't be a strange thing to happen, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to like the change. And the last one, which is what I hope is actually happening here. And regardless of all of the different moving parts, whether Christian Bale said that's what I want, or whether Marvel decided they wanted to change him for some reason, I think the best scenario here would be that he is going to be turning into the comic book accurate or the God Butcher as he becomes possessed by his quest and by the All Black Necrosword. Now, the All Black Necrosword, if you aren't familiar with the comics, is this sword presumably that we're seeing in the trailer, and also created by symbiote god Null. Now, a lot of the black moving tentacles and some of the shady dark black creatures that we've been seeing running around in the background do presume symbiote qualities and tendencies very, very highly. However, there is no actual confirmation. I haven't even heard many leaks or rumors pointing to the fact that we should be expecting to see Null. However, this sword is symbiote technology, we'll call it, and belongs to him in the comics. Now, it could be possessing and even changing the appearance of Gore, who maybe had an alien humanoid hybrid feature, 
but will end up going full alien with tendrils growing, his face changing, and eventually taking on the full look of the hooded gore figure from the comics. Now there are many people believing that this shot from the trailer has in fact been changed to alter the way he looks, potentially to show that they will be tweaking his look a little bit either in the movie or before the movie releases. And that's what I referred to earlier as the Sonic effect. Sonic the Hedgehog was a movie that everybody really seemed to like. The first movie came out, it was an absolute blast, they're continuing on the franchise. But if you recall originally we had Ugly Sonic. A very, very hideous humanoid looking with real teeth, eyes just that could kill a baby bird. He was terrible looking, absolutely horrifying. A lot of people complained about this, and eventually the studio said, you know what, we'll fix it. It seemingly cost them a lot of money to redesign the entire Sonic look. However, they made it happen, and that helped the entire movie become successful, whereas before it probably would have just been a joke. Now, I personally don't think, and I know the majority of you also don't necessarily think, that Gore the God Butcher looks that bad. But this is Marvel Studios. They're, we'll say, top dog in movie production right now. They make all of the biggest blockbusters. They have a huge weight on their shoulder for performance and for details. So it is possible that fans complaining about something as simple as this could trigger a little bit of redesign or change that Marvel wasn't expecting to need to do. Now over the next coming weeks, because we don't have a lot of time, it's possible they might tweak the look here or there, but there is no time to redesign gore. So unless they were already planning on the redesign to happen in the movie as a transformation due to possession and, and him becoming crazy or getting scarred or whatever happens, that's the only way we're going to see a comic book accurate gore in Thor Love and Thunder. We don't know whether or not he's going to make it out at the end, I'd like to think so, he's a fun character and definitely there should be room for him in the future as a returning villain. However, it's hard to say, a lot of times Marvel does kill off villains like this. But I did want to address people talking about the redesign of Gore. Oh, he looks different in the trailer. Yeah, maybe they've touched up a few things to make him look a little bit different, or maybe to show that there will be a transformation. But if there already isn't a transformation, I don't believe there is enough time for Marvel to go in and make a full transformation for Gore the God Butcher to take place in the movie before the movie comes out. There's not enough time, there's too much money that goes into that, there's too much detail, and that is risking a lot for a film that's coming out in a few weeks. The world premieres on the 23rd of June, and then the release is on the 8th of July. The last thing Marvel, Disney, or any movie company wants to do right now is delay films. We've just gotten out of the whole big massive COVID thing with movies, and we're finally on a path where movies are sticking to their schedule. And I know for a fact they're not going to want to delay this film for something like redesigning gore so hopefully we will be seeing a transformation for those of you who really want to see a comic book accurate gore and if we do not well hopefully you can live with that personally i think gore looks really really cool i like the change i think it kind of brings human emotion and expression to his face that we can identify and appreciate and the reality of gore the god butcher as a character is he is an emotional character his story in the comics is absolutely tragic. His entire family dies and he prays to gods who don't answer him. And then two gods fall down in front of him and a fight and he realizes gods do exist. And then he gets angry because he realizes gods do exist. And nobody heard his prayer. Nobody came to save his family or his people. And he got mad. So, I can't wait to see this story. I'm very excited for Thor Love and Thunder. I think even more so than I imagined I would be. I love Thor as a character. He's one of the few remaining OG Avengers. This story is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go Taika Waititi, let's go Chris Hemsworth, and let's go the rest of the cast and crew. I'm very excited to see what you've created for us. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Just, are you okay with gore? Are you not okay with gore? It can be as simple as that. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our other daily uploads happening right here on Cosmic Culture.